and over the boardwalk we go. Very well made. This is kind of like a grand open ear institute for highly innovative trail feature design. I'm not aware of any other boardwalks that quite equal the work one will find here in Andover. Looks like it needs a little work there. Look at this thing. You have the routing choice, a marble in and of itself, and then you have the thing. brings us to an astonishing and utterly wonderful meadow. And what a meadow it is. A full sense of fall color and then some. And the meadow is traversed. This is the way we came and the wonderfully charming and marvelously routed boardwalk. Across the meadow this way, you can just follow the thread of the existing trail. <coughs> ah, yes, a little sliver. And this will bring us to the street before long. And then we'll be over at the West Parish Cemetery. Uh, we've got some bird houses. This is the way we came from. This is the way we're going. Height of land in the meadow. This is the direction we came from. Heading back towards Andover Center and ultimately the coast. There's the big wide meadow. I have a feeling that that's the West Paris Church over there. This is the way we're going. The meadow. Looks like a few old heirloom apples from some long ago farm attempt. Here's where the trailhead resumes, passing through woods, some old second growth pine. There's the meadow. And here's some berry laden bush to keep the winter birds happy. And here's how we wound through the woods. And here's where we head to the Merrimack River. Nice little old stonework bridge. This is at once an Avis Trail and the Bay Circuit Trail. 
another instance where the things are shared. You'll pass through a little wet area where the trail isn't as obvious. Or you can follow the Avis Trail that runs along it. And it comes out to Reservation Road. And before long, we'll be at Oriole Drive. Cool little bridge with some stonework and the white blazes indicating our way. And now we're at the entrance of the West Parish Garden Cemetery. We came up. Cutler Road. This is a key intersection, the Oriole Reservation and Cutler all meeting. And we're directed to head this way. You can see the Bay Circuit Blaze just beyond the old stone wall. Another classic Yankee cemetery. The trail skirts the edge of the cemetery and the road. A fine old wolf tree carries the confidence blaze. And once again, we enter a woodland. Oh, there's another wolf tree, probably a whole line of them overlooking the cemetery. And the trail veers slightly up here in cemetery world. We've come this way, skirting the edge of the West Parish Cemetery. And this will get us to the Merrimack River at some point. Second growth pine and the time of falling needles. There we've pass through an extensive section of old and second growth pine along one edge of the West Parish Cemetery. And now we're coming to the next major meeting with a street. Here's a little turnaround, probably a parking area. The trail heads this way towards the river and soon we'll be in our next leg. Here we are at the point where the trail meets Route 133, a road I know well as my father wants on property along it. You come to this sort of little pull-off area. It 
entering through these grand stones. And we head, we make a little dog leg and then we're into the next section. <laughs> 